Hello everyone, this is Brian Beamish coming back to you from uh, Canadian Rational Investor, CR Investor on TradingView and Twitter uh, for your update here on Bitcoin for Thursday, June 26th. Um, obviously we have this uh, Silk Road auction coming up here shortly, it's supposed to happen tomorrow. Um, I don't think we're going to get the results until Monday, um, but not a big surprise that we just sort of consolidated into this event. Um, and uh, I think today would just be a very short uh, review, uh, just to touch on some of the bigger points. And uh, uh, we're not getting a lot of price action here right now. Uh, right now we're up seven bucks at 573.91. That's about a one and a quarter percent move. Uh, and of course that's probably uh, dead cat bouncy because we did make a new low uh, overnight. Uh, so just quickly reviewing the higher time frame chart, here's our four hour of the uh, Bitfinex and I use the tradingview.com uh, charts, they seem to be pretty respectable. Uh, and I encourage you to take a look at them if you uh, are interested in charting uh, Bitcoin. Um, you can see that we had, you know, a nice inverted head and shoulders here, nice bullish harmonic price pattern, 50% level uh, as a nice technical target. So put all three together, not a big surprise. We rallied up into uh, into this sort of 670, 680 uh, area, and then we slowly rolled over. Uh, if we zoom in on the uh, price action of late, and I'm going to use these lows uh, off of this low, this uh, 340 low, uh, for my FIB analysis here, uh, you'll see that uh, the correction in price basically came back down to what I call my first stop target, the 38.2 FIB. Uh, not a really big surprise there. Historically, that's usually what happens. Um, we did do some real spiky action, but we put in a half decent little double bottom there, and I had postulated that we had a dead cat bounce, basically uh, coming off of this big sell-off. Where were we likely to rally back to? Here is the 50% level of this sell-off, and here's the OTE short zone. So if uh, institutions did want to short uh, this uh, breakdown, where would they most likely do it or want to do it? Um, and uh, you can see that price really tried hard to get up there, but uh, bearish momentum, really just a little bit stupid here. Um, long and short of it here, we ran out of steam. Uh, most recently here, I posted uh, the one hour uh, update. We had a bearish Gartley pattern here form at, uh, on this rally, and we'll zoom in uh, to that one hour chart. Let's see where we are, here we are. Um, and the Gartley pattern didn't really go into too much detail yesterday, but I'll blow it up for you here. Um, basically, it looks like uh, the Gartley looks like this, like this, like this, like this, and then kaput. Um, and that's basically what we have here. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. As you can see, we did rally up into the OTE short off of just this uh, this sell-off here. Um, there is the Gartley level, 78.6. That was 6.11. Uh, we rallied up to a high here, 6.15. Quickly broke down, put in a double top. And this uh, gray horizontal dotted line you see here, 6.02, uh, 34. That was my double top breakdown sell signal, and that's when I published the last uh, article that I did. Um, basically what I see here is uh, risk reward on that trade. This is your risk window. This uh, is your reward window. Uh, if I was, you know, an institutional buyer and I was thinking about buying, where would I most likely uh, be interested in buying? 61.8 to 78.6 and we also had a couple juicy gaps there that needed to be filled in. So, you know, put it all together. Not a big surprise to see price work its way down here. Um, yesterday's commentary, I mentioned that we hit the two to one risk reward ratio. Uh, we had a bullish momentum divergence. Willie was getting kind of stupidly oversold here. Um, and so as a result, I, I basically said, look at, you know, if, if you took the trade, great, you made a two to one. Most trading plans, that's sort of like a minimum requirement. Um, I certainly said, do not go and short this. Um, and, you know, in essence, that was a good idea. 
as basically we just went sideways through yesterday's North American day session. Uh, we rallied a bit in the overnight market and now we're consolidating again in the New York session. Um, so put it all together, uh, we have the big auction coming up tomorrow, so not a big surprise we see volatility sort of coming out of the market. Looks to me like we, uh, we have a bit of a trading range established. You can see that there's some juicy gaps up top here uh, on the FNX, you know, gap up to 578. Uh, and then if we draw a nice bull ABCD off of this bottom, you can see that the rally point is right back to the optimal trade entry short window. That's the 61.8 up to 78.6 fibs. So really wouldn't surprise me one bit to see a counter trend move up into this area. Um, but, you know, we are getting some, uh, uh, you know, signs here that things are getting a little tired. Uh, you know, if we do make a new high here, on a relative basis, uh, that will be on a bearish momentum divergence. So in essence, uh, it looks to me like we're setting up uh, the next sell window. You can see uh, Willie's starting to get, uh, yeah, where are we here on the moving average? Minus 27, so we still have a little ways to go to get up into overbought territory. Wouldn't be surprised to see one more uh, leg higher here. Um, and really, I, you know, uh, because we have this big sort of unknown event um, coming uh, tomorrow, you know, my hunch is uh, you'd be perfectly fine to just hop off here at this uh, two to one or even in this neighborhood. You made some great profits on the short um, and really let's just uh, sit tight and wait for the next setup. Um, you know, going back to the four hour just to take a look at sort of what the higher time frames look like. I am quite concerned that this o this larger OTE area needs to be validated here before we can really move higher. I have made the argument in the past that if we can bottom off this 38.2, then ultimately that is bullish, um, and it sets up a very large uh, bull ABCD off of these lows up to these highs. Um, just out of curiosity, let's see what that looks like. So that would be here to here, roughly. Uh, these aren't going to be exact numbers. Uh, and then we clone that and we go here to here. So that actually projects a high of 814. So if we do get the bullish consolidation, you know, right now we got a little bit of a willy uh, oversold. Not really the best looking bottom here. Um, Willie did technically get into the stupid zone, minus 80.58 on our Williams percentage RIC, minus 81.52. So you can argue that Willie is, uh, you know, a bit stupid here. Again, this sort of reiterates not really a very good place to think about shorting. Um, and, you know, I built the Willie indicator as a broker to just try and prevent me from doing the wrong trade at the wrong time. So, you know, if there is a, a sell window coming, uh, Willie will uh, uh, rally out of this uh, stupid condition. Um, I just don't see it right at the moment. Um, I suppose those that were short off of the top, if we do get a breakdown through the 38.2, this uh, key low here was uh, 522, then that does paint the target for this uh, OTE long zone. You can see the bear ABCD, boom, 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 boom. Um, and I suppose we could draw this uh, bear ABCD right off of the top as well and see where that takes us. Uh, so once again, you know, sort of that's painting into this uh, sweet spot uh, tag here. So, you know, the way I look at it is uh, we did have a cute little short trade, uh, published the report, got quite a few accolades uh, on the bearish Gartley setup. It worked, um, you know, some short-term targets, as we said, uh, short-term bear ABC targets have mostly been hit. Um, so, you know, I would argue that uh, putting on new shorts here is a little bit dangerous. Um, I would like to see uh, Willie rollover, OBV rollover. We already have a rollover in MACD, so that's looking healthy. And you can see here that we're right at the 38.2 on the hourly, it's just sort of deciding where it is we want to go. Um, I think that, you know, if you still did have the short on, you want to just ride it out. 
I could very easily see these gaps here be filled um, and not a big surprise maybe they go after these weak stops so you know technically I suppose you could still have your uh, your short uh, your stop on the short if you're very conservative up but just above this high here and I think that's 597 um, so put it all together nice little short that worked um, trading plan obviously you want two to one risk reward so we got that I still like the short idea here I don't see any reason uh, for the market to rally precipitously uh, but we do have a fairly significant fundamental event coming up here and obviously you know if we get news that uh, they've uh, the average buy price of this Silk Road auction was six hundred dollars obviously the price is going to ratchet back up there all right, so that's uh, basically today's review. Just wanted to do a nice short, quick review of uh, what we're looking at. I don't have any trade setups forming right now. Uh, right now, if anything, you're sitting on your profits and feeling really good about yourself, uh, and we're just waiting for the next setup. All right, so have yourselves a great day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.